Let's do some stock market work. We've got Pippa Malmgren, president and founder of Principalis Asset Management, and Russ Kosterich, global chief investment strategist of BlackRock iShares Group. So, Pippa, things have gone swimmingly now. It's been a bunch of months. It's a global stock market boom. I want to know if it can continue, and I want to know if it's signaling a global economic improvement. Well, bottom line is if you throw this much cash around, if you have all of the major industrialized economies in the world plus China printing money at this rate, then yeah, it goes into asset prices and we're seeing asset prices rise really fast. I think it's important that not only are stocks going up, but the oil price is going up and the price of diamonds, as you just reported, is going up. So these are all assets that reflect there's a lot of money in the system and that's precisely what the policymakers wanted. When central banks print money, the signal is go speculate. And Pippa, I'm going to leave it to you for the last year. If energy prices are a lot likelier to go up than go down, if these central banks, including the Federal Reserve and the ECB and the Bank of China, are a lot likely to pump and print, then wouldn't you want an inflation play? I'm trying to sneak commodities in here. Maybe a little gold action. Maybe some silver action. Maybe some copper action. I got to like the commodity play right in here, don't I? Yeah, I am in agreement with that. I even like diamonds oh. as an alternative to gold, as an example. And I think it's in, look, everybody out of the Middle East and Asia is buying diamonds like crazy as a store of value. That's why they're reaching record prices at every auction. But I.